guys, welcome to your Chertsey High School parent information video. Uh, normally this time of the year you will be in the hall and we would share all the exciting uh, tasks and expectations with you. Unfortunately, due to the COVID pandemic, we are not able to do so. So we are hoping between Mr. Hicks and myself that we'd be able to share some of the expectations and the exciting adventures that lies ahead with you today. Enjoy the short video clip. Uh, remember to send in all your questions that you have and see you in September. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mr Hicks. I thought I'd just introduce myself. I'm going to be head of Year 7 uh, in September. So I just thought I'd give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, I am a teacher of religious education and this is my second year at Chertsey High School. Previously I worked at the Salesian School where I spent two years as an assistant head of year one year as a pupil premium coordinator, and in the previous year, I've been a head of year at Chertsey High School. At Chertsey High School, we have three key values, knowledge, determination, and love. Knowledge. An access to education allows you to gain knowledge. With knowledge, doors will open for you and enable you to enhance your own life, as well as having a positive impact on the society and the world that we live in. Determination. It takes great determination to gain knowledge and be successful. Do not be afraid of failure. With the determination to overcome failure, you will become all the more successful. You can achieve anything you want with determination. Love. Love is an essential part of a happy community. We must love each other and our Chertsey High School community and the wider community in which we live. If we show love and respect to every person we meet, we cannot fail to grow as individuals and achieve happiness within our community. As well as our three key values at Chertsey High School, in Year 7 you will be looking to develop your heart. HEART stands for Hard Work, Excellent, Acceptance, Resilience and Teamwork. Hard Work. At Chertsey High School we always work as hard as we can. This includes both at school in our lessons and at home with our homework. We also want to work really hard to look after our environment. That includes our school and our wider Chertsey community. Excellence. We are an excellent school and we want to be excellent people. Whilst we always try our hardest in class, we need to have excellent attendance, which means they're turning up um, even when you're ill, punctuality, which means that you're turning up on time, and manners, which means that you're being polite and respectful to everyone, that includes staff and students. Acceptance. At Chertsey High School, we are a non-safe school, but we are based on Christian values. Being part of the Chertsey High family means that you accept, value and respect that. However, we welcome everyone and we celebrate the diversity in our whole year group and our whole school community. We love everyone for who they are. In our year group, we will have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who goes against these values or anyone who makes someone else feel uncomfortable at school. I would like to add that I myself am a Catholic and it's a really important part of who I am um, and it's something that I really believe in. In my assemblies and in tutor times, I will make reference to Christian values, Christian Bible stories and Christian teachings. I'm not asking anyone to believe them, but I'm asking people to respect and value that. Resilience. We are starting a five year journey here at Chertsey High School and there will inevitably be some bumps along the road. In secondary school and particularly at Chertsey High, you must be positive, resilient and bounce back. You need to see failure as an opportunity to learn. Being resilient means acknowledging that there will be lots of challenges, but never giving up. You will need to learn how to be independent, proactive and rigorous in everything that you do here. Teamwork. Coming to Chertsey High School means that you are now part of the Chertsey High family. This means you are part of a team consisting of over 500 members, and as such we all need to be working together. You will really need to push yourself, do loads of extra extracurricular activities and earn house points for your tutor and your house team. You will need to work with your teachers to maximise the most of your potential. Your teachers will push you to become the best of your own ability. You need to listen and follow their guidance. No teacher will ever ask you to do anything unreasonable. Chelsea High School, as a school, and yourselves as parents have one common goal, and that is for your child to make the most of their abilities, reach their potential, and become the best person they can be. And as such, we need to be one team. In the next five years, there may be issues that we disagree on. However, for the best for your child, we need to present as one united team. I'm asking you now for your support and your trust in any decisions that we make as a school. We will always have your child's best interest at heart and we will do everything that we can to make the right decision. I'm asking you for your trust and your support. As head of year and as a whole school, 
we have the highest expectation for your child. This is because we really want them to become the best person they can be. Our high expectations are something that we're really proud of and we believe sets us apart from other schools. It is not something that we are going to move away from and it is something that's part of us as a school and always will be. I know they might seem really tough and they might seem really hard, but this is because we need your child to become the best person they can be. Next up, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about our expectations in various things. Uniform, uh, equipment, the way you behave in and around the school and so forth. So make sure you listen because if you get this right, your seven will be an absolute breeze for you. So firstly, our uniform. Our uniform is our identity. Now, I'm pretty sure by now you would have heard that Chertsey High School is a really, really strict school. Sorry to say, but that really is true. Yes, boys and girls, we are strict and we take exceptional pride in our uniform. So, what should you look like? Firstly, if anything that I say is unclear, please make sure that you go and visit our website because you will have some clear guidance on the website. Boys and girls, always wear your blazers. You are not allowed to move around the school building without your blazer on. So that's tip number one, wear your blazer. Secondly, always make sure that you have your school shoes, your proper school shoes on. We don't wear trainers at Chertsey High School, so if you have a pair of black smart trainers, leave them for a Sunday. Do not bring them to school because you will be sent home. I cannot stress this out enough in terms of your uniform. If you come to school with the wrong uniform, this minute is simply, with a big smile on my face, going to send you home, boys and girls. Girls, your, sh uh, your skirts should be knee length, so nothing higher than uh, the, literally just the top of your knee. If we find you rolling up your skirt, it tends to not happen because it just looks really unflattering, but if it does happen, uh, we kindly will, will help you make sure that it um, goes down to knee length. In terms of tights for girls, that needs to be grey tights, not black tights, not white tights, grey tights. In terms of summer uniform girls, you will wear white ankle socks, not grey socks, not black socks, white socks. Uh, boys, plain white shirts, black trousers, not grey trousers, black trousers. Socks for boys will be black, not grey, black. Ties you can find from School Uniform Direct. We've got really uh, quite a specific tie uh, personalised to Church Year High School, which is grey and purple. In terms of your PE kits, you have your branded PE shirts, which you can get from School Uniform Direct, with black shorts, which you can purchase anywhere, as well as our skorts, which you can purchase anywhere, but you can get this from School Uniform Direct as well. In terms of your school bag, so normally when people move from primary to secondary, they want to purchase a really modern and handy bag, which they can take to school. One tip of advice, please make sure that it's a rucksack and that it is black with no logo on. The worst thing you can do this summer holiday is go and invest in a brand uh, rucksack because the first thing I will be saying as your head teacher is take it back home and you cannot have it in school. So make sure that it is black and plain with no logos on that. In terms of equipment, make sure that you invest in a clear pencil case, uh, one ruler, some highlighters, pens and you will be able to find the full equipment list in the transition pack which we've sent out to you. In terms of haircuts, boys and girls, it's really, really, really important that you have the right haircuts. No extreme hairstyles. Girls, I know it's tempting once you start a uh, secondary school, you want to colour your hair, but that is not allowed at Chelsea High School, so no colour hair. All hair must be tied up. Girls, you're not allowed to have your hair um, down, so it needs to be tied up at all times. Boys, no shave ends or extreme hairstyles. If it is the case that you turn up to school on the 3rd of September with extreme hairstyles, you will not be allowed to start your journey at Chertsey High School. So I want you to make sure that you have the correct hairstyles. Boys and girls, I do not want to send you home because your hairstyles um, was not or is not correct. So please make sure that you pay attention to that. All of that is part of the expectations. Um, I think if you are able to follow all those uh, set guidelines, you will be absolutely 
absolutely fine. And you know what? I always say by having some clear boundaries in place and having some clear structure, that helps, I don't know about you, but that helps me relieve my anxiety and any stress that I might have. So just make sure that you follow those guidelines. Now, one piece of advice for any parents listening um, at the moment, make sure over the summer holiday that you get some sticky back plastic because heads up the first homework that the students will have will be to cover their books in sticky back plastics it's always a mad rush wherever you go in sainsbury's tesco's everywhere to find sticky back plastic so invest now so that you don't run out every single book will have to be covered in that so that's just a top tip for those parents listening out there right moving on to our mia system we have a system called arbor Arbor is our school system, a management information system, which you as parents will have loggings and we have, uh, we record all behaviour, attendance, attitude to learnings, rewards, clubs, trips, anything gets recorded onto the system. As a parent, you will receive a login and you will be able to access your child's timetable, you will be able to see what any behavior points, the good and the bad, um, allocated in there. You will also be able to see whether your child has missed any lessons or whether they've been late for any lessons. And I know that that tool has become quite handy for a lot of parents. We also send all our communication letters out via Arbor, so you will always be able to have a track record of letters or text messages uh, that has been sent out. We will issue you with this information on the 3rd of September when your child starts. In terms of payment, we use our fingerprint uh, scan uh, to, to complete all our payments and we will on the 3rd of September, normally we do this in our transition day, but we will on the 3rd of September get all of the fingerprint scanning uh, complete. If you have any questions regarding payment or Arbor, please make sure that you contact Mr Hicks because he will be more than happy to help you. Right, next I'm going to talk about Show My Homework. Show My Homework is a program we have which is a really useful app that you can download onto your phone as well as your child's phone. You will have a login and your child will have a login and staff upload any homework that is due onto the Show My Homework app you will be able to see what homework was set and when the homework will be due. It is something which we have really benefited from using during the COVID pandemic and we will be encouraging all our staff to upload all the homework onto Show My Homework um, as from September, so it's all in one place. A lot of staff are using this platform also to upload lesson content, so if you want to do some pre-learning or do some revision after a lesson, you can access the lesson onto Show My Homework. Well, I think I've covered basically most of our systems and processes. I'm sure there will be more things coming up, but as and when it comes up, please don't ever hesitate uh, to contact us at the school. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Hicks, who will be talking a little bit more about the fun stuff, which is extracurricular clubs. A big part of our life at Chelsea High School is extracurricular activities. It's compulsory for every student to sign up for at least one. Extracurricular activities can be run at lunchtime or after school and there's a comprehensive list of some of the clubs that we run that's been sent out to you. We make it compulsory in order for your child to become the best possible person they can be and give them skills and hobbies that they will last a lifetime. So on Wednesday we'll be sending out a Zoom link um, for a live question and answer session that's happening on Friday the 10th of July at 12 o'clock. Please email any questions on Thursday to myself, which my email address is hicksj at chertseyhighschool.co.uk. That's it from us. Thank you very much for watching. Um, really looking forward to seeing you on Thursday, the 3rd of September at 8 o'clock. Um, usually we will aim for an 8.30 start, but please get there nice and early so we can direct you where you need to go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you on Friday, and if not, we'll see you in September. Have a great summer.